shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. We shall all be free, we shall all be free, we shall all be free someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall all be free someday. We'll walk hand in hand, we'll walk hand in hand, we'll walk hand in hand someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we'll walk hand in hand someday. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, be welcome. Today we are remembering the life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was assassinated when I was just a child. His words speak to us of God, of care, of compassion and empathy. And may we seek all those things in everything that we do. Let us begin. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and hope to all people. Heavenly Father, may your name be glorified. May your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, loving God. Heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Glory to you, O God. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets. O God, who shall dwell in your house? Who shall rest on your holy mountain? In purity of heart let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Lord, who shall dwell in your house? Who shall rest on your holy mountain? Those who walk without spot, acting in righteousness. Those who speak truth in their heart and place no deceit on their tongue. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who do no evil to their neighbor and accept no bribes against the innocent. Those who reject evil as worthless, but honor those who fear the Lord. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who are faithful and just to their companions and do not lend their money for gain those who accept no bribe against the innocent, those who do these things are just, and nothing can ever disturb them. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. O God, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest on your holy mountain? How beautiful and glorious is your house, O God. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Most high and glorious God, we remember today your servant, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. May he be an example to us of what we should be in our lives, of what we can attain when we work with one another. We ask this of you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Remember that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to our God. We praise you. We thank you, O Lord, our God and Savior, giver of life. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our prayer to you. And you've promised that when two or three gather together in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O God, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world a knowledge of your truth and in the age to come everlasting life. For you are a good God and love humanity, and to you we ascribe glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lift up your voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy, glorious God, have mercy upon us always, according to your promise. Amen. Let us listen with our hearts to God's holy word. May the Holy Spirit teach and guide us. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through the stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. This is the word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of evil ones. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Even if you should have to suffer for justice' sake, happy you will be. Fear not, and do not stand in awe of what people fear. Venerate the Lord, that is, Christ, in your hearts. Should anyone ask you the reason for this hope of yours, be ever ready to reply, but speak gently and respectfully. Keep your conscience clear, so that whenever you are defamed, those who libel your way of life in Christ may be disappointed. If it should be God's will that you suffer, it is better to do so for good deeds than for evil ones. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not fear those who deprive the body of life, but cannot destroy the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both body and soul in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for next to nothing? Yet not a single sparrow falls to the ground without your father's consent. As for you, every hair of your head has been counted. So do not be afraid of anything. You are worth more than an entire flock of sparrows. Whoever acknowledges me before men, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Whoever disowns me before men, I will disown before my Father in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the life of a man of God, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. It's a controversial figure in so many ways. He said things which were uncomfortable to a great many people. If you've not read his writings, if you've not read particularly his later writings, I encourage you to do so. He talks about the three great evils that occur in our society, and they're still very much present with us today. Those evils are poverty, racism, and militarism. And they're intertwined with one another in our society. And he spoke against them. And it really upset a lot of people. My own parents were not terribly fond of Dr. King. But I read Dr. King's words. And I grew to understand what he was asking of us is nothing less than what Christ has been asking of us from the very beginning, to take care of one another. And taking care of one another in Christ does not mean just taking care of the people who I like, the ones who are close to me, the ones who are part of my family, the ones who are part of my local community, the people who look like, sound like, talk like, and worship like myself. No. God is God of all people. Everybody. And they're all our adopted brothers and sisters. And Dr. King is absolutely right in the things that he said and the passion that he spoke with. That we need to treat one another in right ways. It's never too late to do the right thing. It's never the wrong time to do the right thing. It's never the wrong time to love one another. So on this day when we remember Dr. King and we read from the Gospels these wonderful stories of persecutions are going to come to those who speak the truth. Death comes for us all. Dr. King was 39 years old when he was murdered in Memphis. I stood on the spot. I have stood in the church where he was preaching during the strike that he was there for. I've known people who knew Dr. King himself. I never had the privilege of meeting him. But I've known people who did and whose lives were forever changed by his passion. Let us have that same passion of love for all of our brothers and sisters. May God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us stand well. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, for the well-being of all the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Synod, for myself, your unworthy servant, for the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for our civil authorities, and all in service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for this city and for every city and countryside and for those living in them in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, land, and in space, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Together let us entrust our souls to God. We ask you, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that your grace be with us, forgive our sins, and protect us. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O God, that we may please you by our good works all the days of our lives. By the help of your grace, may we always be worthy and eager to offer you glory, honor, and thanksgiving, O Lord of all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, ever one God, now and through all ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this living bread, fruit of the earth and the work of our hands. Let it become life-giving bread. Bless the lives of those who offer it and those for whom we pray. Amen. With the fervor of faith, full of the Holy Spirit, water is mixed with wine and wine with the water. Let these two become one in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this wine fruit of the vine and work of our hands, let it become our spiritual drink. The very mystery of the blood which flowed from the side of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. O God, Holy, Mighty One, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we are about to offer for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever. Amen. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and with favorite spices laid it for burial in a new tomb. Look upon us with favor, O God, that the walls of a new and everlasting Jerusalem may be built up, where there will be justice and peace. The lamb and the lion will lie down together. May the Lord wash away our sins with the hyssop of his love, May God cleanse us and heal us in the great ocean of his mercy and love forever. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one essence and undivided. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He 
ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now confess our sins and failings with clear minds and hearts and a humble spirit. With eyes downward and hands and hearts raised, let us ask God's mercy and let us forgive one another. Forgive us, O God. Let us rid ourselves of strife and divisions, hatred and hostility. Forgive us, O God. Let us receive the sacrament and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, O God. Let this communion be for us our resurrection and eternal salvation, and for the reconciliation of all creation and for everlasting life. Amen. May the living God forgive all of our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries so that we may stand as we do now before our God on that last day. May the grace, the love, and the fellowship of the living God be with us now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is among us. He is and ever shall be. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is always right, everywhere, to give God praise. Lord our God, what we have heard, yes. What our mothers and fathers have told us is true, and we will join with them to proclaim your glorious deeds. What our mothers and fathers declare to us, we too will declare. Throughout time you open the doors of heaven to rain manna upon your human children, food for the journey. We will declare the glorious deeds of the Lord. Not just once in the desert where your people groaned and they had left behind them the riches of Egypt. We will declare to the generation the wonders of the Lord. Not just when the new church struggled without the physical presence of Jesus, nor again when the persecutions made martyrs and confessors of your sons and daughters. We pledge ourselves to live to the full life of discipleship. But each time your people, you have provided nourishment, manna fallen from the sky, the spirit thundering into the upper room, the witness of Paul, a prisoner in Christ, and Jesus, your own, your beloved, and our beloved. So therefore, with all the cloud of witnesses, our faithful ancestors, with the angels and saints in this company, we raise our song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Father, the people of Jesus' time asked him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? It is our question as well. We've heard the answer, Father. We must come to Jesus Christ in order to never be hungry and believe in him to never thirst. Jesus is with us today in the assembly of this household of faith. We call ourselves Christians, have taken that name to ourselves in faithfulness and in hope. God brought us to this holy place. We do today what has been commanded. He said on the night before he died, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given up for you. At the end of the meal he took the cup, gave it to his disciples and said, Take and drink, this is the cup of my blood given for you. He gave us bread from heaven to eat. It is your church's desire, Father, to become, in fact, the body of Christ, and not just the body, but to grow to the full stature of Christ. 
So we beg you, Father, to make us strong, loving, and wise. Gift us with humility, gentleness, and patience. Father, send your Spirit upon us, one and all, now and evermore. Make us and these gifts of bread and wine, which will nourish us, into the body and blood of your own Jesus, our Savior. Inspire all of our leaders, especially our bishops, and all who serve this community. Christ is the bread of our life. Strengthen the bones, tissues, and spirits of all the members of this household, that all may rightfully claim the inheritance promised and gained by Christ's death and resurrection. Whoever eats and drinks at this table will never be hungry. We remember those who are infirm, those who are unable to be with us for whatever reason. We pray for those whose faith is moving towards maturity. Knit all of us together, Father. Make of us one in the unity of spirit and the bond of peace. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. We give you our lives, for we want the life of the first apostle to be prisoners in Christ. It is through him, Father, that we give these gifts. Amen. 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 The bread we break, is it not fellowship in the body of Christ? The cup we share, is it not fellowship in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on that last day. The table is furnished, the wine is poured. Let us flee from ignorance and let us proclaim the unique and powerful mystery. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of Jesse, the Son of David, has prevailed. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for us. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. O Christ, we are unworthy of your calling, yet in faith we share this sacred banquet. Help us always to walk in your ways. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God. Broken, but never divided, ever eaten, but never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake of this heavenly food. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief will I confess. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of these holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that this is truly your most precious body, that this is truly your life-giving blood. Make me worthy to share these holy mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen.
the leader looks like the Israelite. God's got the drum on the water. I said, wait in the water. Wait in the water. Children, wait in the water. God's got the drum on the water. See that band all dressed in Like the band that Moses led, God's got the drum on the water. I said, Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God's got the drum on the water. If you don't believe I've been redeemed, God's got the drum on just follow me down to Jordan Stream. God's gonna trouble the water. I said, wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We've received the heavenly spirit. We've found the true faith. We worship the undivided trinity, for the trinity has saved us. God has filled us with all the spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, and has called us to share his kingdom without beginning or end. We have feasted on God's word in this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For the sick and the suffering, we pray to the Lord. For the lost, the alone, the lonely, the abandoned, we pray to the Lord. For our families and friends, we pray to the Lord. For ourselves, we pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us marked with a sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. For all those prayers held in our hearts known to God alone, we pray to the Lord. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever. For you are our sanctification, O God, and we glorify you now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us remember the witness of the Dr. Martin Luther King, that we may share that witness with others. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead through the prayers of the Most Holy Mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Thomas, and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and full of love for us. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen.